Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Yunus Academy. And guys, over here in this particular video, we are going to learn about this third part of the Tesla's 369 theory. So guys, before watching this particular video, I recommend you to watch the previous two parts of this particular video. The first part consists of the vortex maths and it represents a, like a pattern. It generates a pattern uh, which is there in the mathematical addition or its mathematical doubling basically. And in this particular pattern, the numbers 369 were missing. These particular 369 numbers are the divine numbers and that particular numbers drives a significant amount of energy to run this physical world. In the second part of this particular uh, uh, 369 theory, we have learned about the geometrical shapes. We have learned how this particular 369 numbers are having a lot of importance in mathematics and in geometry as well. So guys, over here in the third part of this 369 theory, we are going to correlate the time and space. Also, we are going to learn the significance of this 369 into religion as well. So guys, please watch my video till the end. And if you are new here on my education channel, Ingenious Academy, please consider subscribing because your subscription will really motivate me to make more of such uh, educational or else uh, such some of this uh, informative kind of uh, videos so guys please watch my video till the end and please do subscribe to my educational channel ingenious academy so guys without wasting any time let's begin the third and the last part of this 369 theory so guys mr nikola tesla did a lot of experiments and it is having more than 1200 of the patterns in his name how did mr tesla is able to achieve all of his like inventions all of his goals so basically mr tesla followed the theory which is called as the 369 theory and mr tesla did everything in sets of 3 6 and 9 as you can see in my previous videos there is a, like the more information about this 369 theory so now over here we are talking about the time and space correlation of this particular 369 theory so guys let's say like if we say if we having a like a space matrix or a space fabric and if i say if i kept anything on that particular space fabric like if we uh, apply the rule of cartesian like this particular that particular object can move in three directions there is a three axis along which it can move number three over here and that is also important so if we look at it can that that particular object can move along the x-axis can move along y-axis and z-axis the three like the axis of uh, movement we, over here we are getting also that particular object can move in the negative direction such as minus x minus y and minus z direction so over here we are getting the six degrees of freedom over here also if we try to rotate that particular object in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction in x direction as well in minus x direction as well we are getting 12 degrees of freedom over here and this particular number 12 like it obeys the rule of 369 theory if we uh, add on this 1 plus 2 is equals to 3 so over here we are getting the number 3 and this particular space also obeys the rule of 369 we are getting the result as 3 if we talk about the time over here the time so if we look at the time one minute consists of 60 seconds one hour consists of 60 minutes so why there is always results in 60 why is 60 why not 70 80 or 90 like there is this particular time also obeys the law of 369 so guys over here we can say that this particular space and time obeys the laws of 369 you can see the traces of this particular 369 in string theory as well so moving ahead next this particular like this whole of the world follows the threefold and sixfold symmetry and you can see the traces of this threefold and sixfold symmetry in the examples like if we think about number three the number three is very much important number and mr tesla did everything in sets of three so why is that so there are three tenses in english that is present tense past tense future tense three tenses we are getting over here the atomic structure consists of protons, neutrons and electrons. Again, over here the three components that constitutes an atomic structure. Also, 
there are three stages of matter solid gaseous liquid three stages of matter again we are getting number three over here there are three degrees of comparison in english grammar that is positive degree comparative degree and superlative degree over here i am getting number three or again also this particular third degree is considered as the highest of all like in punishment it is considered as the highest degree that is the third degree so over here the number three is having a lot of importance in our life also there are three types of genders male female and transgender again number three is important if you look at this particular number three and if we relate this particular number three with the religion in we can see the traces in hinduism we can see the traces in buddhism and in christianity as well like if we see any of the religion in this world we can see this particular number three is always there like in buddhism there are three refuges such as the buddha the sangha and the dhamma so these are three refuges which are present over here in buddhism again okay, number three there are three types of uh, like the trimurtis in hindu uh, religion like brahma vishnu and mahesh these are the three trimurtis over here present in hindu religion if we talk about the christianity there is there are three trini trinity so if we talk about the christianity there is trinity that is the father son and the holy spirit again number three is very much important so also there are some sort of the traces in uh, christianity like uh, the ministry of jesus lasted for three years again number three the jesus rose from dead on the third day itself also jesus was having 12 prime disciples the 12 number 12 1 plus 2 again over here i'm getting number three so guys this particular number three is everywhere and it is having prime importance if we talk about number six so there are some of the natural examples i will give you like this honeycomb shape this particular honeycomb shape is the having hexagon shape and it is having six sides there are six kind of tests in Indian Ayurveda. Also, there is something we can call it as a sixth sense. So this particular sixth sense is considered as an extrasensory perception. And this particular extrasensory perception is highest of above all five senses. So this is why the number six is having merely a lot of importance. And this particular, the energy drives between number three and number six. If we move ahead to the number nine, over here number nine is the the greatest of all and this particular energy like originates and the energy flows from number nine to the rest of the physical world this particular number nine drives energy within these number three six and nine like there is a triangular sequence and the energy flows within these three numbers also this number nine governs all of the physical world this particular number nine is considered as a good number in chinese culture also during the pregnancy it will take nine months to deliver a baby like nine months to like uh, to develop a human body also if we talk about our solar system there are total nine planets in our solar system so over here we can say that the traces of this particular 369 theory are present in the natural example that i have given so far so guys if you look at the famous theory of the pyramids of the giza and the orion belt in constellation correlation theory the number of the pyramids of the Giza is 3 and this particular pyramids of the Giza pointed straight towards the Oran belt that is the stars in Oran belt which is having again the number 3. So guys we can say there is a divine energy which is flowing between this pyramids of the Giza and to the Oran stars in the Oran belts. Like we can say the over here the number is matching the 3 numbers in the Giza pyramid and the 3 numbers in the Oran belt like the stars. So there is this particular nature also follows the rule of 369 also guys if you look at this particular geometric pattern of 369 the numbers are aligned in such a way that it will surely resemble to the like a sign which is greatest of above in hindu religion that is the sign of om so over here the geometric pattern represents the sign of om the Om is having a lot of importance in Hindu religion and it is considered as the most sacred sound. Also the sound of the sun is the Om. So over here the sun is considered as the prime source of energy for all the living organisms over here on earth. 
if we say the vibration or as the frequency associated with this particular sound 432 hertz and if we add all the digits in this particular number we are getting the number 9 so guys we can say this particular number 9 is everywhere this particular number 9 is embedded into our system so the energy flows from sun and the code or as the number associated with the sun is number 9 the frequency of the uh, sound ohm is 432 hertz and this will resemble to number 9 so guys we can say that this particular 369 theory is hidden in our universe and this is the reason mr tesla followed this 369 theory and he did everything in sets of 3 6 and 9 so this is the reason these three numbers are merely having higher importance so guys please tell me in the comment section what you think about this particular 369 theory that is not just a pure coincidence there is a secret code which is which is embedded in our universe and we have to find that the day science begins to learn the non-physical phenomenon such as the energy frequency and the vibrations and that particular time the science will make more progress in one decade than it's all of its previous years of existence so guys i hope you like my today's video of the 369 part 3 if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel ingenious academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video